chlorhexidine. When you start using chlorhexidine, it's important to educate the patient or the parent of the patient. In your packet, you'll also have a letter that describes what chlorhexidine is, why you're using it, how often it should be used. It's quite safe to use if used using 0.12%. Shouldn't have any, any expected irritations unless you use it long term. Remember the recommendations are only 14 days every two to three months. Chlorhexidine rinse protocol for levels three and four. Use the rinse for age six and older. It is possible to have a chlorhexidine gel made for younger children and you just have to speak with your local pharmacy and they can make that for you. It's quite expensive, so it, it's limited by its expense. Rinse with a half ounce daily at bedtime for 14 days and repeat in two months. It must be done 30 minutes after brushing if the patient is using a toothpaste containing sodium lauryl sulfate. And almost all the toothpaste on the market, unless you're into the health food section of your grocery store, contain sodium lauryl sulfate. This is another reason it's very difficult to have people comply with chlorhexidine regimen because it's, it's difficult to brush your teeth and then wait another 30 minutes to use chlorhexidine. Uh, institute a periodic fluoride varnish program, that's that every three months, and maintain the xylitol protocol to help eliminate the bacteria that the chlorhexidine or the antimicrobial has removed and follow up with the CRT in 12 weeks. Chlorine dioxide has approximately the same bacterial spectrum as does chlorhexidine without the staining. We haven't talked too much about the staining, but occasionally chlorhexidine can stain composite resin restoration. So if you're at all wondering if that's a possibility, it should be checked out before you, in the back of the mouth before you start. Closest to, which is a chlorine dioxide product, has both mouthwash and toothpaste. Chlorine dioxide protocol, use for ages three and older. For ages three to five, use toothpaste only. For ages six and above, use either the toothpaste or the rinse or in combination. And use for three weeks and repeat in a couple of months. Institute the fluoride varnish program and maintain a xylitol protocol, follow up with a CRT in 12 weeks. Carbamide peroxide. This is the same carbamide peroxide that you would use to bleach a, a patient's tooth or teeth. Used for patients 14 and older and must be applied via custom trays, which becomes somewhat of a drawback. For disinfection, you need only to apply it once as per usual bleaching time and repeat in two months. And if you are considering a bleaching procedure, remember you're disinfecting at the same time that you're bleaching. Institute a fluoride dental cream program and maintain xylitol protocol and follow up with a CRT in 12 weeks. Typical appointments for oral disinfection protocol. Examples, like an example of level three and a level four protocol. Your initial visit, determine the antimicrobial and the xylitol protocol need. Begin the antimicrobial and the xylitol protocol. Begin and complete restorative procedures. 12 week follow up from the initial exam visit. Record the findings on the tracking sheet. 12 week follow up from the initial exam visit and take a CRT test prior to antimicrobial use. Mail or call the results to the patients or have them return to see the results of the caries risk test and determine further actions if needed at your follow up visits. We have now completed our SOAP assessment, the subjective, objective assessment, and the plan. The evidence supports the management and monitoring of dental caries. Caries risk level must be evaluated at each maintenance appointment. This is why we developed the tracking sheet. In the progress notes that we all keep on our patients, it's very difficult to see exactly what you've done and how effective you've been because the, some of the treatments are pages apart. The oral, the tracking sheet allows you to quickly see at each visit how you're doing if the pH is, is changing, the gingival bleeding index, the DEF or DMF, is that changing? So make sure that you use the tracking sheet because it will help your practice tremendously and it's an easy way to show the patient that they are making progress. Home care measures for both low caries risk levels one and two and for high caries risk levels three and four. Xylitol toothpaste or xylitol drops, flossing, xylitol mouth rinses, balanced diet, 
foods from the oral health pyramid, eliminate the frequent use of high density carbohydrates and xylitol sweets and chewing gum. Let's now discuss the high caries risk levels three and four for home care measures. We want the patient to use xylitol and or fluoride toothpaste, certainly flossing, brushing, uh, xylitol and or fluoride rinses, and an antimicrobial chlorhexidine, chlorine dioxide. In our practice, we like to use betadine. It has the same bacterial spectrum as the other two, but it's a one-time use and it can be applied right there in the office. We don't need compliance to help us. Eliminate the high-density carbohydrates and use the xylitol sweeteners, chewing gums. In-office treatment, low caries risk, levels one and two. Use the tracking system. Check up to two times a year, depending on the risk. Again, depending on if they're through orthodontic, need for orthodontics, or the pa parents have decided not to use orthodontics. Usually with children, you'll want to see them once every six months because of a lot of growth and development that goes on. Reassess the caries risk at follow-up appointments. Use bite wing x-rays as you see fit. Restore cavities, remove plaque, protect the exposed cervical areas with uh, fluoride varnishes, use pit and fissure sealants on occlusal surfaces, you know, topical fluorides as you see fit one to two times per year, brushing and flossing, professional cleaning, and nutritional counseling. Your high caries risk patients should be seen more frequently. We're going to use our tracking system again that we've developed, the, the soap format checkups anywhere from four to six times per year. Again, this is your call as the, as the physician. Reassess the caries risk as often as you see fit. Use bite wing x-rays, restore cavities, remove plaque, protect the cervicals areas with fluoride varnishes. Use pit and fissure sealants as necessary and topical fluorides as necessary. Brushing and flossing instructions, professional cleaning and nutritional counseling.